Hello everyone, my name is Richa Garg. I hope you remember me from my previous presentation. This week, I will be talking about a new term called data lake, and we will be comparing it with enterprise data warehouse. I hope you enjoy it. And please don't forget, there is a discussion board that we need to answer to. I'll be looking forward to all your responses and feedback. Thank you. Before we understand the differences between data lake and enterprise data warehouse, let's first understand the term data lake. Data lake is a repository of large quantities and varieties of data, both structured and unstructured. So what does that mean? Data lake is a place to store unlimited amounts of data in any format. It allows collection of data that you may or may not use, just in case data. A way to describe any large data pool in which the schema and data requirements are not defined until the data is queried. Data Lake also complements any enterprise data warehouse and can be seen as a data source for EDW, capturing all data but only passing relevant data to the EDW. It frees up expensive EDW resources, storage and processing, and especially for data refinement. It also allows data exploration to be performed without waiting for the EDW team to model and load the data. Some processing is better done in Data Lake it is also called bit bucket staging area landing zone or enterprise data hub key attributes of data lake again it retains all data it supports all data types supports all users adapts easily to change and provides faster insights so let's understand going back to our enterprise data warehouse and see the differences enterprise data warehouse can be defined as central repositories of integrated data from one or more data warehouses edw stores current and historical enterprise level data and are used for creating trending reports for senior management reporting such as annual and quarterly comparisons. If you look at this image, it talks about different departmental data marts and data warehouses feeding into staging databases and forming an enterprise level data warehouse. Again, the key difference between data lake and data warehouse is the information itself. So the data that is stored in a data warehouse is truly meaningful and has been cleared for reporting purposes. But in data lake, cleansing processing is not done when it's being stored. It is only done when you're querying or that is analyzing the data or reporting the data. So how does data flow in data lake? Well, the data lake loads data extract irrespective of format into a big data store. Metadata is decoupled from its underlying data and stored independently, enabling flexibility for multiple end users, perspectives, and incrementality maturing semantics. In the new approach, you may see data lake and enterprise data warehouse working together. So all of the data sources, as you can see in the image, all non-relational data, relational data, all future data sources, and currently used reporting data. All of the data is considered. All this data is extracted and loaded with no or minimum transformation. Storage of data is near native format. And finally, when it comes to querying, that is when you want to extract this data, binaries transform data on read. So let's quickly go over the two differences between data lake and enterprise data warehouse. Data lake. Data type it stores is raw that would be structured or unstructured. Data type for EDW is cleansed and structured data only. For EDW, rationalizes data from multiple sources into a single enterprise view. Whereas data lake parallelizes the traditional programming languages that is Java, C++, Perl, etc. allowing storage of structured or unstructured data. Key differences between data lake and EDW could data lake. Typically schema is defined after after data is stored, offers extreme agility and ease of data capture, but requires work at the end of the process. Versus EDW, typically schema is defined before data is stored, requires work at the beginning of the process, but offers performance and security and integration. Again, continued data lake can scale to extreme data volumes at low cost. Versus EDW can scale at large data volumes at moderate cost. Data lake can work well for data types where data value is not known and data remains raw versus EDW works well for data types where data value is known and is cleansed. For the discussion board, let's consider two questions. Question number one, is data lake appropriate for all types of organizations? Please give an example where you believe data lake may be useful. And again, can we use data lake in conjunction with enterprise data warehouse to support business needs? If so, please confirm what benefits or issues an organization may face when using these technologies in conjunction. I will be looking forward to your responses. Let's continue to discuss and learn as a group. Thank you for your time. Have a great week ahead.